Why would Kim Mulkey refuse to comment on Brittany Griner? If you're not aware, these two have had a long-running feud. However, the intensity of the feud was revealed when Mulkey was asked if she had any comments on Brittany Griner's detainment in Russia. Mulkey declined comment, and she's been called out for this by a number of her former players. Is this an Ellen DeGeneres moment for Mulkey? What causes this feud between Mulkey and Griner? Let's take a look. Mulkey and Griner have had bad blood since 2013. However, prior to this, Griner was recruited and played for Mulkey and Baylor from 2009 to 2013. Over that period, the Lady Bears had a record of 135-15, and 15, which included a national title win in 2012 during a season where the Bears went undefeated. All was good at that point between Mulkey and Griner, who was named the Women's Final Four Most Outstanding Player. Then the following season, Baylor was surprisingly eliminated by Louisville in the NCAA Tournament. Griner declared for the WNBA draft and was subsequently drafted by the Phoenix Mercury. In February 2013, Griner came out as gay. She then participated in a story with ESPN's Katie Fagan at the time in May 2013, where she said Mulkey and the Baylor coaches discouraged players from going public about their sexuality and revealing they were gay. Griner was quoted in the story saying, The coaches thought that if it seemed like they condoned it, people wouldn't let their kids come play for Baylor. Griner said her sexuality was an open secret at Baylor, but described Baylor as having a don't ask, don't tell policy, saying, it was more of an unwritten law. It was just kind of like one of those things, you know, just don't do it. Griner went on to say that she and Mulkey talked about her sexuality when she was being recruited. I told Coach when she was recruiting me, I was like, I'm gay. I hope that's not a problem. And she told me that it wasn't, Griner said. Another bone of contention which seemed to be raised by Griner and her family in the article was how Mulkey seemed to cut off contact from Griner immediately after she was done playing for her. Her dad, Ray, came out in the story saying, There's nothing in it for Kim anymore, so she's done with Brittany. Mulkey refused to comment on the article, but she did release a statement at the time. Brittany Griner represented Baylor University proudly on and off the basketball court, and she leaves behind an incredible legacy. I cannot comment on personal matters surrounding any of our student athletes, but I can tell you Brittany will always be a celebrated member of the Baylor family. After that, it went quiet, but it was clear there was not a lot of love between these two. Now, the latest issue, the non-comment on Griner's situation, might just be a bit of a storm in a teacup. At the very least, it's strange. As Mulkey had previously commented on Griner, on the Tiger Rag podcast in June saying, I don't make public comments. I think it's a personal issue. I just want everybody to come home safely and I pray for Brittany. I want her home safely. I think there's a lot of people speaking out on her behalf and those of us who don't necessarily speak publicly are praying for her. This statement seems fine. It's unclear why she didn't repeat that during the press conference when asked. But after the press conference occurred, former players like Queen Egbo and Chloe Jackson came out supporting Griner and questioning Mulkey. Queen Egbo issued a warning to future recruits based on Mulkey's actions, tweeting, a player that built Baylor two national titles, and a 40-0 and zero record, yet her former coach refuses to say anything or simply just show any kind of support. Keep that in mind when you're choosing schools. Now later, uh, Queen Egbo came out and corrected the tweet as Baylor only won one national title under Griner. Chloe Jackson, who played on the 2019 title team, tweeted, and I will say it again, silence speaks volume. SMH. Overall, as what often happens, I think both parties don't come off looking great in this feud. It's clear that Mulkey was pissed about the ESPN story, which is understandable from her point of view. In the story, Griner talks about how she was surprised by Baylor's policies. During the article, Griner also talks about how she came out in high school, and all her friends knew that she was a lesbian. Which begs the question, why did you go to a private Baptist school? Did you think the school was going to embrace your homosexuality? As well, did you really expect Mulkey to keep you on speed dial after you finished playing for Baylor? What is also amazing is how pissed off Mulkey was after the story and how it appears that she's really good at holding a grudge. Katie Fagan said after writing the story, she heard that Mulkey contacted ESPN and tried to have her fired, saying, After we put out that story, Kim Mulkey believed that I had forced Brittany Griner to say this, and she told the higher-ups at ESPN that I needed to be fired for this. So what do you think? Do you think the response to Mulkey's no comment is over the top? 
Or do you think Mulkey is being extra cold to Griner and deserves to be called out for this? Or do you think I deserve scorn for suggesting that Griner was crazy if she thought Baylor was going to embrace her homosexuality and that Mulkey will remain interested in her after she finished playing for Baylor? Leave your poison below. Thanks so much for watching.